Hi there and welcome to my channel. So in this video we are going to discuss that how we can insert a new node in an AVL tree or how we can delete a node from an AVL tree and after insertion or deletion how we can perform rotations if needed to make a tree as self-balanced or an AVL tree. If you don't know about the AVL trees then you can refer to my another video in which I have discussed in detail what is an AVL tree or what is a binary search tree and how we can create an AVL tree. Okay. So in this video first of all we are going to have an AVL tree. So this is my AVL tree. Okay. Let's just calculate the balance vector. Okay, first of all, we know the balance vector of leaf nodes are 0. So 10, 25 and 40, they are going to have balance vector that is 0. Now 30 is going to have a balance vector. Height of the left subtree is 1. Height of the right subtree is 1. So 1 minus 1 gives me 0. Now balance vector of 20. Height of the left subtree is 1. Height of the right subtree is 1 plus 1, 2. So 1 minus 2 will give me minus 1. Okay, so that means this is a balance tree. This is an AVL tree. Okay, now we are going to insert a new node in this AVL tree that is 45. Now, how we are going to insert by following the properties of binary search tree. Now, what binary search tree says that if a node value is greater than the root node, place it as a right child. The value which we are going to insert is less than the root node, place it as the left child. Okay. Now 45 is greater than 20. So it is going to be in the right side of 20. Now 45 is again greater than 30. So it is going to be on the right side. Now 45 is again greater than 40. So it is going to be on the right side. Okay. So 45 will come on the right side of 40. Calculate the balance factors. Okay. Calculate the balance factor. First of all, what is the balance factor of 20? On the left side, the height of the left subtree is 1. The height of the right subtree is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is total of 3. As we know what is the height that is the longest path to reach the leaf node. So longest path is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. So 1 minus 3 it will gives me minus 2. Okay this is imbalance factor but before working on it let's just let just have a look at the other nodes also the other nodes what the balance factor they are having. Okay. So now 30, so now on the 10, since 10 is the leaf node, we have already discussed in our previous video that the leaf node is going to have a balance factor 0. So balance factor of 10 is 0. Now what is the balance factor of 30? On the left side, there is only one edge. So that means 1 minus 1 plus 1, 2. 1 minus 2, it will gives me minus 1, which is again perfect for AVL tree, okay? Now, what is the balance factor of 25, 0 since it is a leaf node? What is the balance factor of 40? On the left side, there is no, there is no node. So, 0 minus 1, it will give me minus 1. Okay. And what is the 45 balance factor of 45? That is going to be 0. Why? Because it is a leaf node. Okay. So, now this is creating imbalance. So how this has been occurred? This has been occurred because of the right of right of right insertion. Okay. But we know that we are going to concentrate only the three nodes. Okay. We are going to concentrate only the nodes which are creating imbalance. So this node is creating imbalance and we are going to consider these three nodes only. Okay. Why these three nodes? Because binary search tree says maximum it can have two children. So two children plus one parent, so total of three nodes. Okay, so on these three nodes, we are going to perform some operations to make it a balanced tree. How we are going to perform these operations? We are going to push 30 towards top, towards the upward. And we are going to pull 20 towards the downward. Why? Because at one place, there can only be one node. There cannot be more than one node. Okay, so what we are going to do, we'll push 30 upwards, we'll pull 20 downwards and on the left side of 20, we have 10. Perfect. Now, on the right side of 30, we have 40 and 45. They won't cause any problem. But on the left side of 30, we have 25. Now, we need to place 25 on the left side of 30 only. So, when we'll come to the left side of 30, we see that we have seen that we... 
there is already a node on the left side of 30. So we will make a comparison between 25 and 20. 25 is greater than 20. So we will place that as the right child of 20. Okay. 25 is on the left of 30 only. It is satisfying the previous property of the binary search tree that all the nodes which are less than root should be on the left side. Nodes which are greater than root should be on the right side. Okay. Now when I calculate the balance factor of leaf nodes are 0. What is the balance factor of 20? That is 1 minus 1. It will give me 0. What is the balance factor of 40? That is 0 minus 1. It will give me minus 1. Balance factor of 30, it will give me 1 plus 1, 2 minus 1 plus 1, 2, which is again 0. So, all the nodes are having balance factor among 0, minus 1 and 1. So, this is perfectly an AVL tree. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the example in which we are going to delete a node from an AVL tree and then we need to perform and then we will see whether we need to perform any operations or not. Okay. So this is my AVL tree. First of all, let's just check, check with the help of balance factor whether it is AVL or not. So first of all, 20 and 45 both are leaf nodes. So balance factor is 0. What is the balance factor of 40? That is 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. Balance factor of 30, 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So it is perfect. So now let's just delete 20 from this. Okay. When I delete 20 from this, my tree would be this. Now let's just now let's just calculate the balance factor again. What is the balance factor of 30? Balance factor of 30 is there is no node on the left side. There are two nodes on the right side or we can say number of edges are 1 plus 1 which is 2. So 0 minus 2 it will give me minus 2. Okay. 0 minus 2 will give me. This is imbalance. This is creating imbalancing. Okay. So what is the balance factor of 40? There is no node on the left side. So that means 0. 0 minus 1 will give me minus 1. And leaf node, we know that leaf node is having a balance factor 0. Why? Because it is not having any left child. It is, it is not having any right child. 0 minus 0 will give me 0. Okay. So now, as you can see, this is creating imbalance. Okay, now we have only three nodes in our tree. So we need to consider all the three nodes. Okay, how we are going to perform the operation? We'll pull 30 downwards, we'll push 40 upwards. Okay, we'll pull 30 downwards and we'll push 40 upward. That is left rotation. This is left because we are pulling 30 towards left. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to push 40 upwards, we are going to pull 30 downwards and 45 will be the right child of 40 only. Now if you calculate the balance factor, it is going to be 0. Balance factor of all the nodes are coming out to be 0. So that means now this is an AVL. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned about AVL trees in detail from these videos. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please do leave your comments in the comment section that really motivate me to create more such amazing videos for you all. Thank you so much and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.